Hey guys, welcome to this uh, video I'm going to do for you which is related to your website or online analytics or metrics or statistics or however you want to word it. Um, this is a really important facet of online marketing that a lot of businesses either miss out on or ignore uh, for whatever reason um, and I completely understand it's a very seemingly complex area because you've got so many different analytics and, and different statistics and data coming at you especially if you're in for instance where we are now which is the Google Analytics uh, dashboard um, Google Analytics is, not, is pretty much the best analytics package you can get in terms of website traffic uh, very detailed if you want it to be um, but it can for that reason be very confusing so I want to just explain kind of a little bit around the different statistics packages and measurements and so on um, and really get over the hump of how confusing and complex it can be and, and focus in on what's important which is the base analytics for your websites um, because invariably what will happen is a client when they come to us um, as a first-time client they I will normally ask the question of them you know where, where are you at at the minute you know where's your website how much traffic are you getting is this some you know is this something you want us to focus on you know improving traffic and so on and most often to be fair clients don't don't know and they don't know how many people are coming to the website they don't know how many pages within the website people are actually looking at or engaging with and they don't know which areas of the website are being successful or not um, and that's incredibly important because as I'll always explain to clients, it gives us, if nothing else, a baseline to work from. So if we see that, for instance, your traffic is at the you know a thousand visitors per month level right now, uh, we know that we need to improve upon that. And what we can do is, with if you have a history within, say, for instance, Google Analytics, we can look back upon your data throughout the previous year or two years or whatever, and we can ascertain which months are potentially peak months if it's a seasonal. Uh, type business or which months you know you maybe have a dip in traffic normally and what that does for us is it gives us a valuable insight because we can tell these are the months that historically you've got a good amount of traffic and we can where can we improve upon that where's the traffic coming from uh, how many people are, are you know there with the geography of people accessing your site during those months but also during low months we can actually say look at the, the data and we can say the organic traffic drops significantly during these months perhaps we could look at you know performing some sort of ads campaign through those those kind of low months bringing more traffic into the site uh, so at its base level statistics or analytics really give us a good insight into into a baseline of where we're working from because our goal is always to improve refine hone um, and maximize the potential for any given website. So there's different factors of course in that but we're talking today about really the traffic coming into the website and the behavior of that traffic once they're within your website or once they're engaging with your ad campaigns and so on. So for instance if you see the screenshot here this is just one of our many Google Analytics campaigns and and we're looking at this it seems very confusing the, the statistics I want to show you really are down here so this is this is actually a, a comparison between uh, August 2015 and August 2014 so it's just a part of a month you know first 10 days of a month but what I want to show you is what the, the kind of things we're looking at are users in 2014 is 913 in that 10 day period what we've been able to do through our work um, with this client in terms of direct advertising through Facebook and Google is actually raise the new traffic to the website to almost 1500 so we've, we've raised the traffic by almost 64 percent over this time last year which is great uh, up 60 percent almost in terms of users and page views we're actually getting more people delving into the website and seeing different pages and so on so 3000 versus 2400 and that's a very a strategic um, campaign that we've run we've looked at the previous data and we figure out where we need to go and how we need to do it so we looked at different pages within the website we looked at the ad campaigns we were running and the different makeup of traffic so where are people coming from and how is our targeting going to work and um, because that down the line is very important specifically if you are 
looking at targeting people through, say for instance, a Facebook ads campaign. Because what we did within the website, we noticed that people were coming from certain states or certain areas, uh, and all the traffic seemed to be coming from there uh, normally. So what we did was we either you know, targeted those regions specifically with our ads campaign, or maybe we could test out trying to target other regions which are nearby, which maybe aren't getting as much traffic through various reasons, could be search engine optimization issues or whatever. But it just gives us very valuable insight into the data of visitors coming to the website and their behaviors when they're within the website. So I don't wanna to get too involved in Google Analytics right now. It's a very complex system, that's a whole other kind of issue. But that's the reason why we get really involved and stress the importance of statistics, analytics, metrics, whatever you wanna call it, for clients moving forward. Because when clients come to us, as I said, invariably they don't have a stats package or they haven't looked at it ever, even though they do have one, or, and they have no idea of the baseline of where they are and where they potentially could get or where they wanna get. Uh, and we can advise on that as, as um, consultants as well. So that's just a quick uh, look at a uh, particular um, campaign and metrics through Google Analytics. Um, another really useful way to measure traffic and very important in this day and age specifically from my perspective I'm, I'm very into conversion strategy uh, user experience user interface design and strategy as well and one of the greatest insights that I have in terms of our designs for websites and landing pages and, and squeeze pages and so on is to see heat map tracking where on our pages are people clicking or not clicking and the benefit of that is when we design pages up we normally implement different uh, call to action strategies and conversion strategies. For instance, on this specific page, you can see the big green button that says try and I. That's a call to action button. Uh, and that's that's geared for conversion. So what this company would do, even though they also supply the heat maps, what they would be doing is they would be looking at a heat map of this page and they would want to get the big red areas, people clicking most often, this try it now button. So for instance, if they implemented that and thought, right, here's a good strategy for conversion, and then they find that nobody was clicking that button and either people were bouncing out of their website or clicking other buttons on their website, they would then be able to tell that either the call to action is not um, being effective or the button color or maybe the description or the, the lead up to the call to action is not effective and they could then tweak their strategy somewhat. They could try a different call to action, for instance, start your free trial, a different color of button, maybe try an orange button, see if that improves the clicks, change the um, copy here, maybe change that, put a different image and, and so on. Any number of different strategies, but what it does is the heat map shows you where people are clicking, where people are not clicking, probably more importantly, uh, or as importantly, and then you can adapt your strategy moving forward. So most websites and most website owners just have no clue what is happening on their web pages whatsoever. They may know that the bulk of traffic is coming in and people are staying a certain amount of time and so on. But once after you get that data, if we actually look at the design of a page, we can then start to tell where people are clicking and why they're clicking there and hopefully then improve and hone and refine the whole process further and further. It's always an ongoing improvement process um, and that's where, where we really help clients is in doing that type of thing. Okay, so that's heat map tracking. That really just, just tells you know where you're clicking on a web page or where your visitors are clicking. Another one then um, to show you are these uh, like ad campaigns in Facebook. So for instance, we are running an ad campaign for a client at the moment and we're spending $20 a day and so on. So far we've got 1500 clicks over a certain period. The different stats that we can tell, for instance, just to give you a very quick insight into how we would operate. At the start of our campaign, this is back in April, so a number of months ago, we were getting a cost per result, which you'll see on the screen, of somewhere around 50 cents per click or per action. So people clicking the web, every time somebody clicked our advert, we were getting charged 50 something cents per click, um, which was fine as a, as a baseline. Again, it's good to know these things. Suddenly in June and July, the cost per click or cost per result skyrocketed. And what we saw was cost per result was 181, um, this is actually after it, it uh, reached its peak. It actually hit around $2.36 per click. As soon as we saw that happening and monitoring our stats, we pulled the advert 
and we started to, to redefine it. So we changed the targeting on it. We actually brought down targeting from uh, 48 million people down to 8 million people. But by doing that, we created a much more refined audience or demographic for our advert. So from a peak of $2.36, we suddenly saw things drop to a dollar, 85 cents, 65, 95, and so on, all the way down 23. At the moment, we're getting it averaging around 30 to tw now. Yesterday, it was hitting 27 cents per result. And we get 74 clicks for that, that cost. So that just shows you as well, at one point, cost per result was almost 10 times what we have at that now. And that was really valuable insight because we were able to see our client is getting charged you know, $2.36. We're not happy with that. How do we improve the, the advert and the performance? So we went into the advert, we tweaked a, little, a few things. You know, we could tweak copy, imagery, call to action, and then the target demographic. And in this specific instance, we did a little, little bit of everything, but the main thing I believe was that we changed up the target demographic. We brought the demographic from 48 million down to 8 million, and then our, our results went through the roof. We started getting so many more clicks um, because people were actually interested in the relevant content, and our cost per result plummeted as well, which is brilliant for our client, um, and it makes us look good, which is, is always always the goal. So just to, to give you a quick summary, that's why I wanted just to discuss this in a video. Metrics and analytics are important across the board from your website to how people are behaving within your website, the traffic coming to your website, um, how they're originating, where are they coming from, are they organic results, are they direct traffic, referrals, and so on. And then even down to your advertising campaigns, how can you as a business maximize the results you're getting and minimize the cost per result or per click to your website and therefore maximize your return on investment. Um, and those are just some insights. Those are some things that we run for clients um, at their base level. And that, that's why it's really important that, that whoever is doing this for you knows what they're talking about and, and can understand and draw inference from the different statistics. Just to give you an example of our, our, some of the dashboards as well that we can provide for clients, um, this is a great tool because what it does is it, it collates all the data. I've just shown you the Google Analytics and the heat map tracking and the Facebook ads and, and so on. But what if you could actually collate all that into a single dashboard which would then allow you to, to in real time compare results from ad campaigns and so on. So here's your, you know, for instance, Facebook likes, Twitter followers, YouTube, uh, email subscribers, um, billable hours, website performance, and so on. It gives you great insight into all of those different factors and how they're interacting with one another in real time. So you can see if you ran an ads campaign directed to, um, with a goal of building your email subscriber list, you could see then how that would impact uh, your email stats and so on. But that's really the importance, A, of the statistics at, at, it, at their core, um, but also then how you draw inference, improve your processes, refine um, the processes further, and you know, you're always improving, and then maximize return on investment. And that's what it's all about for, for us and for clients. Um, so hopefully that is of help in explaining a little bit about the importance of metrics and analytics. Um, and if you have any questions, of course, you know, drop us a line or, or hit one of the buttons on the page. There should be a, um, a link below this page which explains a lot more of the, the other fundamentals of online marketing. You just click on that and watch the free video there. But as I say, hopefully this was a benefit to you in explaining the importance of those metrics and how we as an agency and you as businesses can really start to maximize your return on investment by way of, of monitoring, actively monitoring the metrics uh, through multiple different um, platforms, whatever you're using. Um, so again, hopefully that was of help. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you have any comments or queries and see you in the next one. Thanks guys.